Java, determining the number of rows and columns in a CSV file dynamically. In our previous snippet, we talked about how we could bring in a CSV file into our Java program. So on this little part here, I'd like to show you how you can dynamically create and uh, determine the rows and columns of that CSV file. So I've set up a function here to do that, and I've got that listed right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, go right to that function. I'm going to step you through it here. Once again, we're still going to use a scanner. You can use the other method that we talked about if you prefer. So here's our scanner. We've got a, a thing here that uh, a variable is going to count our rows and a variable is going to keep track of our columns. And then we're going to use that string input variable again. We'll talk about this in just a second. So let's get right down to the code of where we actually do the counting of our rows and columns. So we'll just scroll down here just a little bit here. So where that actually is going to take place is right here is where we're going to actually bring in and read that from our scanner. Now you'll notice here we've got a string location and here's that variable that's going to hold that string location and we're basically putting that variable that's that right there. We don't really need this line of code. Okay, so the nitty-gritty of where this is actually going to happen is right here on this while statement. It's the exact same setup here. We're still using the has next line. Okay, and the while here is basically looping through the different rows. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing here. So we're ringing it into the input line. We're going to split it. Okay, and we're going to use this component here to determine the columns. And since the while in itself is doing the rows, every time it loops, we're going to track the rows right here. So we'll bring the columns in on here with our input split. And then we'll actually then get the array length. And that will determine the amount of columns. Uh, do I have to put the, this portion in the while statement? No, we can actually do, uh, import one line and still get the columns since these are a symmetrical array. So you know every row will have the same amount of columns. Okay, so that's just basically it on here. We're going to loop through exactly like we did before. We're going to create a counter here to count the columns, and this will determine or the rows, and this will determine the amount of columns. Once again. Since we're using this guy here, it still has to be wrapped in a try and catch statement. And that's it, how you can count the rows and columns. I do want to show you one little other thing here that's sort of side related. Since we're printing out the number of rows and columns, sometimes it's handy to print out the date and when that information was captured. So how we do that is simply this. We can set up a thing here called date format. Okay, so this is our date format. Well, we can call this anything we want. Okay, we're going to call up new simple date format. And we can rearrange these guys here to determine how we want to display our uh, date and years and months. So if I didn't want to show it in year, month, day, I could actually do something like here and turn this as month, day, year. Okay, so that's how we're basically setting up on how we're going to display that date. So we need to get the date. And that's what we're going to do here. So here's the date. So we're going to do date. Here's my date. It's going to be a new date. And when this happens, then immediately it's going to go ahead and get that date of the system at this moment of time when the program runs. And then we're going to save that out as a string. Okay, so we're going to take our format that we created right here. Okay, we're going to use the dot format. We're going to format the date we just got right here. 
to make it look like that. And that's how you can format a date. If you need to repeatedly need to get the date on that, you can also use the dot get date on uh, your variable here. So if you need to update, you can use the get date after you've got it created. So that's how you can determine the amount of rows, number of columns, and on a side note, how you can bring in a date and how you can format it to the uh, format that you wish.